to another episode of All Lives Lost, where I play one of my favourite retro video games. And because in the last episode I played Preppy, I thought it was only right if we played Preppy 2. Obviously the follow-up to Preppy by Russ Wetmore, released by Adventure International, Scott Adams owned company from Florida. And this is released in 83, a year after the first one. And Preppy 2 is a one and two player game. Our character, Preppy, or Prep, is back again in his smart clothes on the uh, golf course premises. And instead of collecting golf balls, he's forced to paint a lot of things this time. So it's. I actually find this game a little bit more difficult. I played Preppy 1 to death when I was a kid. Absolutely loved it. I did love this one. Preppy 2, I loved it as well, but I found it a quite a difficult game. I probably didn't play it quite as much, but just coming back to it now, I yeah, I found, found it a really fun and challenging game. And it still holds up today. So, shall we have a little game of it? As I say, it's a one or two player game. You can have one or two sticks, but obviously we're going to play one player, so shall we press start? And obviously Russ Wetmore, great musician, um, brilliant, harmonised music all throughout. Now, as you see this is quite a lot different than the Frogger style uh, game that was Preppy 1. And um, what we've got to do in this is uh, paint. So you're forced to paint all the floor. I guess you bullied into painting it. I should have really read the instructions. Typically when I was a kid, I never really read any of the instructions. Now, my special power in this is, check it out, a cloaking device where we can get past any difficult situations. I'm not sure why there's giant frogs in this. Is it? Is it because it's Florida? We have giant everything. I don't know. I love Florida, so I'm not dissing it at all. Um, so yeah, cloaking device. We've really got a certain amount of energy for that, so you've got to really use it wisely to get past all these obstacles. Now the cool thing about this game each level is in fact, you know what, that's going to get me, isn't it? Each level is in fact three screens. If we can get out of this situation here, I'll show you exactly what I mean. Please don't kill me. Oh, there we go. If we come down here, yay! We've got our second screen of this particular level where we've got to avoid the familiar lawnmowers golf carts so it kind of like kind of hails back a little bit to preppy one which I think is really cool now I love the animation in uh, these games and I absolutely love the fonts check the fonts out the colour rotating colours and everything it's just some awesome programming by Mr. Wetmore. He's such a cool guy. Fun, fun thing about doing um, this particular video game series, I've got to escape them, haven't I? Is kind of after I play all these games, I go and see if these people are on Facebook or Twitter, kind of friend them. And um, Russ Wetmore is on Facebook, so I'm kind of friends with him. I had a little chat to him. He's cool. And Scott Adams as well, who owned the company who released this. Good old Adventure International speed of that. Again, we can use our cloak if we need to. Should we try to get all this filled in? Actually, a few years ago, I um, interviewed Scott Adams for a. You know what? I think I'm going to get killed here. Think? No. 
check it out. That cloaking device thing is great. Uh, yeah, I interviewed Scott Adams for a retro video game fanzine, and he was a really cool guy. I absolutely loved his text adventure games uh, when I was a kid. Oh, jeez. Please don't come on that way. Oh, no, 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 no. Right. Wow. Now, I've got a cloaking device now, so I'm kind of stuffed if anything happens. If things doesn't get worse, we're nearly done with this. you just got to be careful because you don't know which way. There we go. You don't know which way the new vehicle's going to... Wow, that is fast. The new vehicle's going to come on. As you'll... Please don't come on that way. Okay. Oh my god, I think I'm going to... Oh jeez. It's going to be a close call. That was close. There's a real strategy involved, now all my cloak's gone. I've just been running around like a crazy preppy. And I hope that none of these frogs or any other obstacles get me. Oh jeez. I don't know what it is, but these frogs do kind of freak me out. Oh please, come this way. Wow, that's weird. Kind of have to lure them down one way or the other. Here we go. Please jump this way. Yes. Ah, oh, jeez, I thought it was dead then. Oh, some of the doors only open one way as well, which is a real pain. So you've got to really, really be careful. Some of them open both ways. But for some reason, that one on the other side just only opens one way. It scares me when the frogs literally right next to you. That's it. I'm doing well so far on one life, aren't I? I wonder how far I'm going to get in this. Which way are you going? Come on, giant, weird, giant brown frog. Ah, oh. They scare me. They just scare me, these frogs. Or are they toads? I'm not sure. Frogs, toads, whatever they are, the freaky are they? Right. Yes, get in. Now, I need to go back to the first level. I might have been killed on the first screen, should I say. Let's see. Let's not be smart about this, eh? Yay. Cool. And the cool thing about this now, we get this funky little cutscene. Remember the, the Pac-Man cutscenes? I guess it's kind of like, a little bit like that. We have a, an alligator, or a crocodile, as you, you, you probably call them in, in, in the UK. Although they are different, aren't they? Crocodile and alligator. So each cutscene is slightly different, so this one, Alligator chases Preppy, and then Preppy manages to scare him by painting after him. If only that worked in real life. That would be good. Okay, we're level two. And things speed up and the mazes change. And generally it gets more and more difficult. Oh. Sometimes I notice the frogs jump really fast when they're right next to you. You think you've got a few more seconds before they actually uh, pounce on you. you just got to be careful. Oh, jeez. I'm obviously going to waste all my cloak on this. Oh! I let my cloak off too soon. Oh, Preppy's dead. We have another one. Let's see if we can. Let's not 
don't get too close. To these slimy little creatures. See that? That one just jumped real quick there. It's kind of like, wow, that's a bit unfair. So while they're all over there, let's see if we can get this going. Yeah. Yeah, that door just doesn't work properly that way. Oh, God. Yes. I reckon we're going to get out of here. I've got a load of cloaks, so... We're kind of, uh... Yes. When you've got your cloak on, if you're painting, fine. You can see exactly where you are. Now, if you're not painting, you haven't got a clue where you're up to. So you could be anywhere. Wow, speed on this guy now. Uh, uh, wow. Things do get way more difficult. Let's see if we can get down here. Quite um, therapeutic in a way, this game. Just painting away, picking the strategies. I'm gonna finish that top liner. There we go. Yes. You know what? I think that. Down that way. Oh, how fast that guy? If in doubt, go up, come back down. There we go. So it's kind of like a little, whoa, like a little cheat, that isn't it? You can get away with stuff like that. Let's see if we can. That's our cloak. Keep an eye on the cloak just in case we get any fast vehicles. Like that one. As I say, if in doubt, there's our third screen. Just hop down. Do a few more, shall we, this way? We've got to judge it so we can actually get back. Yes, we're going to get back. And adjust. Great idea, this game. What size is that going to come out of you? Know, okay. I'll take that. Come on, you. And the other thing is not to be too eager and sort of jump down into the next lane before the lawnmower or the uh, golf cart has gone by. The amount of times I've played this where it's like, ah, just caught myself and lost a life. Yes. Oh, oh, freaky toads. Freaky frogs. Terrifying toads, freaky frogs. I don't know what they are. He's going to jump up there. You can tell, can't you? But he'll jump down. No. He'll jump up. You've got to be real careful on that door there. That doesn't open properly. Because there's a frog to the other side. He'll just, he just kills you. to get me. Which way are you going? You know what? Oh. <sighs> I thought it was well past then, but obviously not. Speak too soon, but I'm doing all right in this. Not too bad. Let's do up here first. You know what? I thought I wouldn't risk it then. Oh, please. I was going to say, please don't come down. Oh, no. Wow. 
wow. I literally just ran out of... Cool. I just ran out of um, cloak. Just as I got past that frog there. Level 2. No bonus though. And then we're introduced to another groovy cutscene. Preppy getting chased. Keep running. Keep running. Groovy little animations these, aren't they? Yay. Oh, you know what's the same one? I think there must be random. Last time I played this, the second cutscene was different. I don't think I got as far as the third cutscene. I think that the second one I saw last time was Preppy actually used his cloaking uh, device or his magic cloak and uh, the alligator just stopped question mark over his head. It's like, huh? What's he gone? Surely I get another life soon. Let's get that cloaking device. Scary. It is a great game, this. Highly, highly playable. And it's one of those games that you think, yeah, I'll just have one more go. I guess in a way that's great, that door, because it doesn't flip around. It doesn't expose you to anything. See that the frogs are way faster now. But he's coming out. No, he's not. Okay, that'll give me a chance to get in here. I'm gonna completely wimp out. Okay. That probably wasn't the smartest of moves. Never mind. How's my cloak? Oh god, where am I? Oh! You know what, I haven't got a clue how I got there then. Wow, that was weird. Have I just made the discovery that you can actually walk through walls with a cloak? I did not know that. Quick, get next, that's it. Well, I never. You learn something new every day, don't you? I was just about to say, oh, 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 oh. I was going to say this is going to be an extra long All Lives Lost, because I don't usually survive this long on, on, the, on the games. But survive, I do. You know what? I'm going to wimp out and go up here. Let's see if we can complete this level and get out of here alive. Let's see if we can. Yes. Get in. I haven't got much cloak. Oh jeez, that's not good. Uh oh. Uh oh. Come on. Oof. That was close. So close. Now I think that one at the top I'm going to leave for now. Cool. I'll get him on the way up if I actually do survive that long. I'm being a pessimist about it, being more of a realist. Now the silly strategy I've got is not the best because if someone comes out there and flattened, which he does, that's fine. I was lucky. As I say, they come out from random sides, so you don't know which side they're actually going to come out on. Not a lot of cloak left. 
not a lot of cloak. Yes. Onto the last screen. One of those frightening frogs. <gasps> I think the brown ones scare me a little bit more than the green. The green ones look natural, these ones just look terrifying. Uh. Do you think I've got a phobia of frogs? There's a possibility. See how quick that one jumped there? Kind of knew I was there then, didn't it? Oh. Wow. It's well trying to get me cornered. Oh. Only just. I'm kind of like living life on the edge here. But yeah. You see how I didn't risk that one? See, he's coming. He's coming for me now, isn't he? Look at this. Okay. Don't jump down. Oh, come on, go up. Turn around. Yes. Ah, oh, no. Come on, jump up. Oh, no. Wow, that was pure luck. Pure luck. I'm guessing these songs that we're listening to now were chosen because, like Preppy One, they were all in the public domain, all those compositions, so obviously stay, stay forking out a load of money. Oh, I forgot my cloak was low. That was me being smart. Ew. life, I believe. Just remind me where I am. Ooh. You know, let's not risk this now. Ugh. See how quick he jumps? That is crazy. Right. And that door works now, huh? No way. Right, let's not be dumb now. Yes. And this time we've got a big... Yes, extra life. A big fat bonus. Was that 8,000 8, points you get an extra life? Well, let's see if this cutscene's different. So far it's the same. If this is the same, then probably think I'm imagining different ones exist. They do, honestly, you got to believe me. I was only playing it yesterday. I don't believe it's the same one. I must pick it at random and random's not being that random today. I don't know. Right, let's see how difficult this is now. Again, different maze. Different colour paint. Well, obviously we ran out of the pink. That was one of the things about the preppy games. There's only two of them. But um, just how colourful everything is. Oh, that worked for me now. Whoa. Nearly. This is probably the best I've ever done in this game, ever. Usually when I record these videos, I, I play the worst I've ever played. So that makes a nice change. Not that I'm saying... Broken, that broken gate, that broken door. You know what, we'll leave that to the last, shall we? If we get that far. Oh, jeez. These are fast, aren't they? Everything just speeds up. Let's 
Let's get to the end of there. There we go. I'm looking at that and I'm thinking, I'm not going to make that, am I? Never mind. I love the way the music just goes a little bit quieter. Are we going to make this, do you think, without a cloak? Yeah. Let me go past. A lot of speed on that, that's ridiculous. Again, silly strategy. Oh, there we go. I'm going to say silly strategy. Stay away from the edge there. Close. Please come in the other side. Oh, no. Okay. It's a, as much as it's a difficult game, it's quite a relaxing game. And I'm enjoying this. middle screen is my favourite screen, only because it doesn't contain frogs, but he's still. Wow. He's getting some speed, isn't he? He's going to slow down a bit. Okay, what's the come on now? Oh yeah. Silly. That was me being dumb. I just I was going to use my cloak and didn't press in time. I don't believe that. Okay, okay. This is it. Concentrate. Let's get to that last screen. Let's see what we can do on that. Yikes. Oh, I don't like these little enclosed things. Oh, God. Oh no, don't like this. I thought I'd better use the cloak there. Wow, these have got me cornered already. Oh no, okay, so you can't walk through walls. I'm sure I walked through a wall before. That was the weirdest thing. Crazy close. Uh, okay, okay. Oh no, 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 no. Oh, oh. No cloak. I don't believe that. I really thought I had that level sorted. No. And I think that's it. So that was Preppy 2. It's a great game. And I actually did quite well on it, didn't I? for a change. So that was uh, All Lives Lost. Hopefully we've got a bit of music in a minute. Has a little think about it before it goes back to the, the front screen. So that was the uh, classic Preppy 2. And that was All Lives Lost. And now I've lost all my lives, so I'm going to go. I'm going to end the video, but I might have uh, just one more game to so clear that level, because it's uh, rather addictive. So until next time, take it easy.